Just finished a one hour meditation. <sighs> wow, guys. All I can say is major shifts are happening within me. Guys, if I just be honest with you right now, first of all, day number six, I believe, right? I still have a lot of challenges I deal with, mental challenges, right? And it's through these meditations that allows me to push through them. You know, as I'm building my new business, as I'm growing, as I'm leveling up, you know, they say new level, new devil, right? And um, I remember when I when I grew the most, last I really had pivotal growth was in Tulum. And when I was in Tulum, guess what I was doing? I was meditating every day for hours, just going within, going into the unseen. And just then when I was meditating, guys, like, you know, I'm sitting there and I'm, I'm, I'm feeling the fears I have within me, you know, like fears and worries and doubts and, you know, all of these things, these challenges on my journey now as I'm building a new company, as I'm, you know, even with my health and fitness, you know, guys, if you've been watching the vlogs, I had a huge realization yesterday about my physique and how I've just been building it up, but neglecting my mobility, my flexibility, right? And all of those fears are popping up and all of this stuff, guys. And it's like, as you're in the internal, as I call it, right? You almost, you push through the resistance in your mind because that's where it all comes from, right? That's where it all comes from. So you push through this resistance in your mind. You push through in your mind. And then when you come into this world, the reality, quote unquote, it's easier to follow through. It's easier to overcome it. But honestly, guys, like, yeah, so many of our challenges, all of them come from inside our mind. And the more you just meditate on that and you see yourself overcoming these challenges, like, I'll be sitting there today, guys, and then I'm just be shaking, like, shaking. <laughs> and I know I'm just releasing energy, energy, right? <sighs> Can't lie to you guys as well. My routines have been fucked out here. Woke up later than I wanted to today again. This isn't who John Gab is, man. You know what I mean? This ain't who the fuck I am. I'm a savage. I think it's like... Nah, it's just bullshit excuses, bro. I'm just not taking responsibility and I'm not... I'm not committing to my wake-up times and my routines. Yes, I'm, I'm on calls to 11pm and stuff like that. But even with that being said, like... It's time to get back on the routine and grind. Waking up early for me is... Uh, essential like i said guys times where i was killing it the most was in tulum even in tulum i didn't wake up with an alarm um but yeah i'm adjusting but ultimately guys you know meditations like i said you know i'm i'm going through challenges right now guys i'll be honest with you like i'm not gonna front i have these demons in me that are trying to pull me down you know, every time you go to level up, every time you ask God for guidance and a level up, you get tested, man. You know, like I was recently praying for power. So I've been praying for. And when you pray for power, guess what's going to happen? It's going to show you the opposite of that at first. It's going to show you what it's like to not feel powerful. And when I was praying for power, when I was meditating today, you know, one of my, one of my, I said like, God, where does power come? How do I have power? And he was telling me, like, you've got to, you've got to make your body flexible. You've got to work on your overall health. Again, that's God talking to me, man. That's when I'm in some deep meditative state. Ego's like, yeah, lift weights, man, get big. Back on muscle. Get a six pack. Ego. Ego, man. All ego. Why? You know, if you even question that, why? Why? Why do you want to get muscular and big? You know, I want to be healthy, I want to be strong, I want to be flexible. I want a nice physique, but not at the cost of me being, like when I was, when I'm sitting here, guys, yeah. When I'm sitting here, and I'm meditating, right, and my shoulders are like this. Here, it's just, all of this part of my body, but left shoulder, back, tight, stiff as fuck. 
stiff and tight. But from yesterday's uh, yoga session, mobility session, it helped already so much, you know. So I'm still catching myself going pussy, you know, workout. I'm probably gonna do some resistance training, but I don't know, man. You know, I've done a lot of uh, meditations in the past. I've done psychedelics like mushrooms. I've done uh, ayahuasca's, right? And one, you know, even a temascal in, in um, Mexico, like these sweat huts you go into for an hour. And if there's one thing I've learned from this, when you do these exercises where you connect to God and higher powers, one word is surrender. I swear to you guys, it's surrender. You have to surrender. You have to surrender. Like, I remember times where I'd be doing these tennis scouts because like, it's a sweat lodge. Imagine like a sauna, but even hotter than that. It's like 20 people deep in this small hut. And you need to just sit down in there, right? For an hour. And you resist these thoughts that are coming to your mind. You resist all of these things inside of you. And then as soon as you just surrender, because the more you fidget, the more you move, right? The more you try and, ah, and it's hot as fuck. And the more you try and resist that, the more painful it gets. But when you just surrender, you start breathing into it, it goes away because what you resist will persist. I'm resisting my body, I'm resisting it, I'm resisting this tightness here. What do I do to stretch it out? Do this in the daytime, you know what I mean? Little stretches here and there, bro, it's resisting it. You know what I'm saying to you guys? What you resist will persist, it will keep on coming at you and the signs will only get louder. So, I'm having a lot of breakthroughs out here, as you can tell. And, um, yeah, just mad, honestly, guys. All right, let's get this day going. Other than that, though, guys, you know, one thing is always true. Remain grateful. That's the number one thing I always stand by, even when you're going through challenges, even when you have these these fucking you know i'll be honest with you guys as well you know as the past few days i have been escaping on my phone as well right been escaping on my phone haven't been as focused as i want to be even though look, i'm getting my my daily actions done i'm doing the deep work right working for eight hours a day working out hitting my macros you still have those fucking demons that come guys and even money like money don't solve this shit guys real talk this is the internal game you gotta play. This is this is where the meditation comes in into it. So yeah, it's all a journey, guys. I'm glad I'm glad I'm documenting this for you lot. I hope these are insightful, you know, to realize that people that are living a life you want to live, it's not all it's not all easy, guys. You get me? Um, but yeah, it's a great day. It's fucking good. No slacking. All right, let's get it. If you guys know about these, right? Obviously, yeah, it's a baseball, right? Got this in Los Angeles, like 2004, anyway. You get the baseball, right? It's obviously hard as fuck, and you just roll on it. You just, you find your tight spots, and you just roll on that tight spot there. So I'm gonna do this for like 15 minutes. That's gonna be part of my workout today. And then, look, I love working out, guys. I love resistance training. So what I'm gonna be doing, I'm gonna do some very slow and controlled, like almost calisthenics. I'm gonna do dips, pull-ups, squats, right? But I'm gonna do it with the intention to really focus on the form rather than just do it to fucking get reps, if that makes sense. So I'm gonna incorporate some training into my, into my workout, so I don't wanna not do that. But yeah, I'm gonna do rolling on the ball, some form of, I'll probably watch a YouTube video again on um, mobility exercises because that fucking helped so much yesterday. And then I'll do some basic kind of calisthenics training, you know, so in control. Let's get it. This is harder than you think, trust me. This, this, if you get it on the right spots, like this can be harder than some fucking, like if you're gonna hit squats, for example. You roll this on your back, but it's tight, it's fucking hell. That's 
what I'm talking about, slow and controlled. I've just got to change the way I'm viewing this whole exercise life, man, because I could get more pull-ups, right? Look. But you see, it's like I'm forcing it, you know? And it's like, that's not going to be as effective long term. You're bringing other body parts into it, you feel me? Let's see what it dips. Oh, I'm gonna rest this up. That was just too good there. All right, check this out. Boom. Same thing, phone controlled. I'm actually feeling my chest getting worked rather than just pushing my whole body. You know what I'm saying, guys? <sighs> yeah, definitely gonna change up my workouts, like how I do them, because I don't wanna just get big. I wanna be, have a holistic approach, you get me? Yeah. <laughs> physique you know I've got a feeling as well guys yeah by the end of this retreat I'm gonna be in even better shape. Oh, obviously I'm gonna be working out but I'm gonna be in better shape and I would be if I just lift weights I think by doing um, mobility flexibility all of that stuff I think sub even on a subconscious level it's gonna make me feel healthier and that will manifest into my body I really believe that, guys. So we'll see, we'll see, but um, mobility, cardio, and light weight training is gonna be what I'm focusing on out here. So, yeah. Alright, take this for example as well, yeah? I'm doing the lateral raises, right? Lateral raises, yeah. See that? I've just done a set, but the point is, this is 8kg right now. Normally I'll be picking up 15s, but when I pick up the 15s, when I would do them, it would be like this. I'm swinging my body. When if you look at this one, it's purely focusing on the shoulders. All right? The tension is mad. See that? The point is, what I'm realizing, but this new fitness journey I'm embarking on is form is everything. Form is everything. And it's not just about lifting weights, guys, to get big. You've got to have that holistic approach. You've got to work on your flexibility. 
and raising your energy. Like this is a huge epiphany I've had out here, guys. For real though, because if I had just continued the way I was here, yeah, I imagine, yeah, okay, get to age 30, looking huge. But then what, you know? So I'm definitely gonna change my workout approach, the way I train, my reps, my form, everything. It's a whole different paradigm I've got to shift into, guys. Whole different way of doing things. And um, just from today's workout, you know, I've done a very light workout, done some stretching, used a baseball, just some light isolations just to get my muscles going. But I already I'm feeling more energized from this, you know, rather than coming in here lifting. Like, I mean, look, I'll probably do heavy lifting maybe like two or three times a week when I get back into the proper workouts. But again, even with that, Slow and controlled, good form, you know what I'm saying? Fucking hell. The ego's mad. The ego is mad. The ego always wants to fucking... Like the ego... I don't know much about the ego, right? From what I do know is like the ego is just the head. It's your head talking, right? Whereas your heart is your feelings. In a way, it's God guiding you, you know what I mean? <sighs> yeah. Yeah. I mean, for example, yeah, like, I'm in pretty good shape, right? But my body feels weak. Not weak, but like, you know, my, I've been explaining my back and stuff like that. So it's like, why does the mind say that? Like, yeah, we're in shape though. You know what I mean? Ego, beliefs. Yeah, as you can tell guys, I'm having a lot of breakthroughs out here. A lot of breakthroughs. One of my favorite things to do. Good book, good coffee, good music. I just vibe in the morning. Marcus Aurelius meditations, let's go. Just finished a massage. Oh my days, that was fucking needed. This is probably one of the best massages I ever had. Some old Indonesian man comes through looking like he's got wisdom. And the way he was just, he just knew how to, yeah, either way, he done a sick job. I'm definitely gonna get that again and again and again while I'm out here. I'm as looking shredded right now with the oil on, damn. But um, overall guys, um, that was so nice on my on my back, on my shoulders. And like I said, I'm really gonna work on my mobility out here. And um, yeah, I just put together a routine, the body time chamber that I'm gonna follow. So I'm, I'm getting into the flow of things, you know? I said this on the other video the other day, like it takes me a while to get into the flow of things. And I just think back to when I was in Tulum, I was in such a flow. Dubai, I was in such a flow, it's when I move around. So next year, I'm just locking in because I need a flow state routine, guys. I need that shit. So either way, I've got my uh, routine dialed in for body time chamber now. 6.45 is gonna be wake up time. Even now, guys, like when I'm looking at it, like meditate for one hour in the morning, I'm like, oh, fuck, but I know it's gonna be beneficial, right? So I've got to commit to that. Um, four hours of deep work, and then working out. I, I think I want to work out in the morning as well. I'm probably going to change that to be honest with you. Because I got here, work out at 1.30. I'm going to change that right now. I don't like working out in the morning. I'm in the in the afternoon. I like working out in the morning. And um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Anyway, I'm going to go and jump in the cold plunge, right? And then start my deep work. So body's feeling loose and relaxed, feeling good. And um yeah, I just feel like I'm having big shifts out here, guys, to be honest with you. Like, I know that there's a lot of things happening. Um, and I'm just feeling grateful, feeling very grateful and blessed for this journey I'm on, blessed that I'm documenting it. And uh, yeah, let's go and get in this cold plunge and um, recover. <laughs> it's all I'm wearing, guys. I just got the fresh tea out, the brotherhood.co tea. All I'm gonna wear now, trust me. And then I'm gonna be dropping some new merch next year as well. Like uh, one of my dream, actually funny story guys, one of my biggest dreams when I was younger yeah, was to always have like a clothing brand. And um, I was gonna set one up like when, when I first started entrepreneurship and I was like, nah, it's not the right time. 
maybe it could have been, but I just love designing shit. I love wearing my own kind of designs. So Brotherhood clothing line will be dropping next year, but only for the brothers inside brotherhood.coat. Well, of course, there's no other way, right? Um, so yeah, um, that's all I have to say. That's all I have to say. Beef, eggs, rice, you know how we did it. You know how we did it. Let's get into this. All right, what's popping, what's popping? What's going on, what's going on? What's happening, what's happening? I am. Um, Make my life easier. Use the tripod. There we go. All right, hold up, hold up, hold up. Plan was to get a haircut today, but it rained. So I was like, I don't fancy going out in the rain. Anyway, I had to start deep work. It's actually coming up to four o'clock. I've had a very kind of relaxed day today. I'm just going with the flow, been journaling, thinking about shit, with my massage, and, um, I actually watched some comedy. I don't know if you guys, I just decided to watch some comedy. I don't know if you know a guy called, uh, oh, what's his name, man? Ralph Barbosa. Funny, funny guy. He's one of my favorite comedians. I was just watching some of that and I was watching some Joe Rogan podcasts. It's just taking a step back, right? Because I've been working very hard. And uh, now I'm about to start my deep work. Decided as well, I want to just kind of, I've been doing it, telling you guys what I'm specifically doing on deep work. But um, yeah, right now, finalizing the content. So the specific content dash marketing angles I'm gonna be approaching it with. And I'm not even, you know what it is guys, I'm looking at this as, I know in a way that this is, I'm, I'm taking longer than I need to plan this stuff out, but I'm also looking at this as like research and just like not just making the content, but the whole process of building out a launch, you know, looking at what works, what doesn't work and just taking my time to study. I'm not looking at this as a sprint and um, Honestly, guys, I believe, you know, with Brotherhood, this is like one of my businesses I'll be launching. This is more of like a passion project in a way, right? Something I want to do to help people, but oh, obviously any business, but long term, I want to build a big company, you know, and, and, and sell it. So I don't plan on selling Brotherhood. This will just be forever. Do you get me? Um, either way, if I'd start a deep work block, got my clear goals written down, four hours. You know, again, I say this, guys, one of my uh, brothers, Alessandro, he's like one of my best friends. Him, him and his brother Noah, I was living with them in Tulum. And that time spent there with those two guys made me realize the power of a brotherhood, 100%. Like that is probably, in fact, brotherhood idea was born in Tulum. And um, I was messaged Alessandro every day. And I say, deep work block. Here's what I'm getting done. Here's my outcomes. And then I send it a review after. And that's brotherhood right there, guys, you know? Like what I, I'm just basically taking what I've done to cha change my life and help my brothers and they've helped me and we're just putting it into this online community that's gonna change the fucking world, you know? So, um, yeah guys, I'm excited for this deep work. Like I, when you have a business you actually enjoy working on, you can't not win because it's like you're excited to do it. Do you understand what I mean? So four hours of work block now, then I'll have my dinner and then I've got a coaching call at nine o'clock till 10 o'clock. And uh, yeah, then I'm going to bed. I'm, well, I've got to meditate. Fucking hell, meditate for an hour. You know what I've realized, guys? Get to like, my, my call's been ending at 10, 11. And then I procrastinate on meditate because it's so long, it's like an hour. But tonight, we're going to meditate. We're going to go to bed early. I'm going to start waking up early as fuck. I need to stop talking about it and just do it. I've been doing it, but early wake up to the one, guys. It just is. It just is. I woke up for over a year at 4 a.m. I can do this. All right, let's get into this workbook. out and documenting it is mad just seeing my process of like not knowing what to do and like what am I gonna do here and I'm like boom I got it I figured that part out right and I know that's gonna be the part and then it's like all right cool now the next step what am I gonna do here and I'm like hmm figuring that part out I'm just figuring out all right when I'm doing the videos what am I gonna drive people to what am I gonna drive them to what's gonna be the incentive yeah 
coming together guys brotherhood.co let's go This place is looking beautiful this evening. Wow, check this out. Wow, this place is so sick to work from, guys. Like, imagine I'm just sitting here, right? Sitting right here, building out the number one community in the world for young men, brotherhood.co. This is where it's born, guys. This is gonna be watched back in years to come. Say, damn, John vlogged that. He documented that whole thing as well. You know what I mean, guys? From here, let's fucking go. All right, gonna get back into a flow right now. I'm gonna just, just sit down. That right, bike is squeaky. Just sit down and just think. Just sit down and think. What is the next step in the strategy? I've got the content game. I know the strategy. I know the, how I'm going to do the videos. I know how I'm going to do my emails. I know how I'm going to do my Instagram posts. I know all the ideas for each video that's going to go out. Five videos that are going to go out. One, two, three, four, five. I know that. That's all going to be before the launch. I'm going to do a webinar on the 23rd. A masterclass on the 23rd. Where shall I send people to? Shall I send them to the WhatsApp group, email list? Or do I promote? Do I promote the masterclass? Do I promote the, the community? Do I promote the waitlist? What's the most kind of appealing thing for people to join? Am I overthinking this? Probably. Because <laughs> I see these guys, like, uh, you know, some big players in the space, and they'll send people to, like, uh, or, uh, you know, I'm gonna do a WhatsApp group, but I will send them to a WhatsApp community. You know what I mean? Um, for their launch of their program. And it's like, WhatsApp's obviously massive, right? Because people are on their phones all the time. It's just... Yeah. I'll figure this shit out. So I was working on doing deep work, right? And um, as I was working on deep work, I decided halfway, I was gonna film some content. So I was like, call cool, me, film some content, just get some shots, it was good, good lighting and stuff, good sunset, whatever. But then I got distracted, right? And then I started doing random things. So I was like, oh, I know, let me post on Instagram and get some market research for problems that people have, right? to Instagram and I was still doing work related stuff but I wasn't focused I wasn't in flow state I wasn't doing what I wrote down as I to get done and if you know about deep work right you want to stay on one task at a time you don't want to be jumping from task to task because it's inefficient right so I noticed that what happened was when I started to get distracted and I started to lose focus then I started being like oh man I'm getting distracted and I started to almost beat myself up over it yeah so what did I do Went to WhatsApp, message my boy Alessandro, like I was talking about earlier, who I, who we hold each other accountable to with deep work. And I just said to him, bro, I'm getting distracted. Here's what I'm gonna do moving forward for the next two hours, right? Here's my exact thing. If I miss, if I get distracted again, I'm gonna give you $250. Point I'm trying to make here, guys, this is what brotherhood is about, yeah? You're gonna make mistakes, you're gonna have little slip ups, you're gonna have times where you're not perfect, but it's cool. It's not how you start, it's how you finish. And having brothers by your side to help you and hold you accountable and just be there to support you, right? Is so fucking powerful. I'm telling you guys, it's, it's, it's something like even when I used to, when I used to really like 
push myself in other areas of my life, let's say my fitness or waking up early and stuff, I would always use Instagram as accountability. But imagine that with a group of brothers, hundreds of brothers in there, and you posting in there holding each other accountable. You see the power of that, guys. Yeah, that's what brotherhood is all about, yeah? But um, back to work, let's keep crushing it. Look at the sunset right now, beautiful. Beautiful, look at that. Crushing deep work. This, I'm doing a, a five part video series for my main channel, and uh, it's gonna be fucking sick, guys. So make sure you subscribe, subscribe to the main channel, let's go. Work vibes. Guys, 6.24 in the evening right now. I'm here in Indonesia, building our brotherhood. This is a madness, guys. Like, you don't understand what this means to me, guys, for real. Like, you don't understand what this means to me to build this program, this, this brotherhood, man. Fuck. Like, even the way this all came about, man, this... Got stories to tell, man. For real, man. Look at this, man. Let's go. You know what it is? A lot of the time I've noticed when people do marketing campaigns and shit, their main focus is like, how do we sell people? How do we make money off of these people, right? My main focus is how do I fucking solve problems? How do I help you? Right? That's all I'm thinking with this. How do I help you? That's it. You know, I'm here to solve problems. I'm here to help you. I don't give I don't give a fuck about all the other shit. You know what I mean? All these other guys using these sales tactics and these little manipulation tricks and shit like that, bro. I'm just coming in straight, like, notion, doc. Here's what the fucking problem is you have. Here's how you're going to solve it. That's it, you know? Like, there's no, there's not, there's nothing else to really say, guys, you know? Like, what is it with all this bullshit out there? I don't know. But yeah, we're gonna just provide real value, help, solve problems. That's how we do this. Guys, what the fuck is going on? 7.36 right now. My alarm just went off for my four hour block. That was probably one of the most focused blocks I've had, like in terms of just everything unfolding so easily. Like, wow, wow, crushed it today. Made so much progress, so much clarity. Made exactly what I need to be getting done. Um, I'm just deciding if I even need an email list. That's the one thing on my, on my mind is like, do I need an email list or can I just use a, use a WhatsApp group? You know what I mean? I think I can just use a WhatsApp group to honestly keep it simple, right? Something about our minds, we love to complicate shit, but I think WhatsApp group is simple and it's gonna be more efficient than an email list. You know, you know what I mean, guys? So we'll see, we'll see. Um, but yeah, just planning out my tomorrow. Got my day planned out. I'm gonna aim to get up tomorrow. No, I'm fucking getting up tomorrow at 5.45. Fuck it, decision made. I'm up tomorrow at 5.45. I love the early wake-ups. Although 6.45 is probably better, but yeah, we'll see. I'll do 5.45 tomorrow and we'll see how we go from there. Um, but yeah, 5.45, wake up. 6 o'clock visualize, uh, 7.30 workout, stretching, weight training, cardio, <laughs> yeah, weight training. <laughs> um, shower, get ready at 9, 10 o'clock deep work, 2.30 lunch, 3.30 finally get a haircut, uh, 5.30 create plan for the evening, 8 o'clock meditate, and then 9 o'clock unwind, read, journal, and bed. This is what I'm saying to you guys. And, <laughs> I need these plans, routines, all of this shit for real though. If I don't have it, I'm fucked. That's just what I've learned. Um, yeah, it's my day for tomorrow. Feeling confident, feeling clear. Uh, 7.30 now, gonna go jump in the sauna. And then I've got a group call at nine. And then meditate at 10. Bed for about 11, 15, 11.30. So, yeah, let's go. About to smash a one hour meditation. What I've been finding recently, guys, yeah, I've been doing the guided meditations and silent, and I'm finding the silent ones to be superior at the moment at this point in my life. So I'm just gonna do an hour of silent meditation. I'll listen to binaural beats. Um, yeah, I listen to binaural beats and they change your brainwave on a mad one. So that's what I'm gonna do. 
So time right now is 11.05 p.m. It's been speaking to some of my friends on WhatsApp, applying to some business stuff, getting my YouTube videos edited, a few things like that. Yeah, so now I'm gonna get this meditation in, guys, all right? Guys, I said this in yesterday's video, but here I have a bunch of images of the goals I'm gonna accomplish in my life, right? Things I'm gonna achieve, man. And I look at this before I meditate, and I let and I meditate on this shit as if it's already done. Trust me, guys. Visualization. People are gonna look back on these videos in years to come and be like, "Damn, this this guy was onto something, man." Visualization. Preview of life's coming attractions. Imagination. Look at this one. Next, go see. Yeah, yeah, Ferrari. That's coming. It's on its way, in fact. My guy, Wes Watson. My coach, my mentor. This guy changed my life so many times, man. Shout out to Wes Watson, man. That's my guy right there, man. All right, let's get this fucking meditation going. Slack, God bless.